When it comes to these factors paired with insurance, what do you think is missing from the national conversation here? Brittany, I, I think the insurance industry uh, is a very important one um, for the economy, for communities, and, and for and for individuals. You know, it provides you know, peace of mind for folks um, for bad things that can um, that uh, can happen. Um, it's it's critical to businesses being able to undertake commercial risks that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, the, the the foundation of our modern insurance industry um, was a commercial application to ensure uh, ensure shipping. So it really is central. It is also something that is a quintessentially human endeavor in the sense that we all recognize that we're going to face individual risk and we, we uh, um, agree that if something bad happens to any one of us, you know, we're all going to share in that risk rather than having an in individual faces. That at the core is the, is the insurance equation um, that has, has worked for, um, for, for literally millennia. What I think is, is missing is an appreciation of the importance of the industry and of the financial reality that insurers face in making certain that they can generate a profit so that they have the financial assets, the capital, and the necessary surplus to cover those risks and to find ways to cover additional risks like cyber risk, which is an emerging one, um, or other elements of risk that we're facing that are driven by climate change. I think that a lot of our perception of insurance is the experience of buying insurance and seeing our rates go up. Um, and um, to appreciate what the insurance industry can do um, to help us economically um, and, uh, and socially, I think it requires a more open uh, understanding of the, of the market and the business that they have to operate in. And I, I think the government uh, and the regulators are beginning to understand that better. And I think it'd be, uh, it would be very helpful if um, business leaders and other, um, other individuals recognize the importance that it plays. We're seeing cyber, economic, weather, political risks all evolving. So what does the future of insurance really look like? Insurance is evolving at a very rapid pace. And for me, it's exciting to be in a position where we can make investments in new technology and new data sets that helps the industry become more effective at underwriting risk, more efficient in how they operate thing, uh, how they operate um, their underwriting or their claims elements in modeling storms and broader weather events and understanding the impact of, of climate change. So there's a tremendous opportunity for the industry to move forward. The challenges that they face are the financial challenges that we've just talked about um, for some time, the regulatory challenges but they also face a technological challenge uh, in the, the fact that a lot of their legacy systems um, were designed decades ago, and it is very costly to upgrade those and to make them more effective and more efficient in managing the volumes of data that is available to them now. I think the best insurance companies um, have been at the forefront of uh, improving and investing and updating their systems to be able to do that, but there are a large number that don't have as much capacity to do so. A lot of what we have been effective in is, in, is delivering substantially greater economic value from technology investment by doing it on behalf of the industry um, than the individual insurance companies doing it on their own. A perfect example of that is there's been a lot of focus on generative AI recently. And I recently had dinner with the CEO of a major insurance company, and he said, Lee, look, I think generative AI could be really powerful in helping us pull together data sets and supporting our underwriters in evaluating a risk and bringing in additional dimensions. And I know that I could spend tens of millions of dollars developing this, but if you and Verisk are able to make that investment and deliver something um, that the entire industry can use. To me, that's the perfect example of where we can utilize your scale, your centrality in the industry to create value. So 
that hopefully uh, answers answers your question in terms of what the challenges are that the industry faces, and also the value of what we strive to do to help the industry, if that uh, was clear. Lee Shavel, thank you so much for the conversation and your insights. Thank you very much, Brittany. Pleasure talking to you.